Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys. And in today guys, I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to fix any error that you might be getting about your order notifications on Shopify. So this is a couple of common errors that a lot of people get, so I'm going to go through the necessary steps that you need to do to get rid of this error and fix it. So yeah guys, make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly. So you can make sure this works the same for you and that you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and open up the official Shopify.com website right here and log into your account. After logging into your account guys, you'll be greeted by this main page right here where you can see all the necessary info about your Shopify such as your, you can access your account settings, settings, at the left side of the screen you can see all of the options that you can access and so on. So guys, let's go ahead and look at the left side of the screen and you can see we have multiple options such as home, orders, products, customers and so on. We currently do not need any of this, we want to go all the way down and click the settings option right here in the lower bottom corner. Click on settings guys and this will now open up this new settings option right here. So guys, what we want to do now is go ahead and open up the notifications options. So guys, go ahead and click on notifications right here at the left side of the screen. As you can see, again, you have multiple options. You want to find notifications and then open it up. So guys, now what we want to do is go ahead and edit our notification options. So first we can do is go ahead and customize email templates. So you can click here to customize your email templates to see how your customers will receive the order emails. Then you have multiple options right here that you can edit, such as order confirmation, order edited. As you can see, if you click on it, you can see how it works and uh, how it will look for your customers. As you can see, you can click to send a test to see how it looks or you can edit the codes to see how the email looks for your customers. Now we can go ahead and scroll down and see if we want to check what emails they want to get. You can make turn off some of these if you do not want them to get these emails or you can turn all of them to make sure that this error doesn't happen. They will get every email. As you can see, marketing is right here. You can see you can ask them to confirm their email or SMS subscription. You can add recipients and so on. So guys, go ahead and make sure that all of these settings are as, as you wish they, they work. So make sure that you leave the settings how you want it to be and after that your customers will receive normal order emails and you'll no longer keep getting errors so guys basically that is it how to do it i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so guys thank you for watching take care and bye